Hey, this is Shark Boy, and you're listening to the Edward Fowler Show. Give me a show, yeah. Um, now, a few, um, I'm going to say about um, maybe a month ago, I think it was, maybe maybe even two months ago, uh, I had on uh, MJF's, uh, you know, guff and, you know, Maxwell Jr. Friedman. I think that's the only thing we're going to disagree on. Uh, I do know his real, I, I do know, you know, his name really, but uh, that's what I'm going to come on this show because he's the biggest jerk in pro wrestling. Um, but, I mean, y you must get fed up with him after five minutes in the room with him. You must do. Uh, he just talks and talks and talks. Absolute rubbish. Absolute oh, man. Rubbish. I, 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 you, I, I think you must be watching a different show than I am because, man, I think... Uh, when the dynasty guys are together, that's uh, that's the funnest time there is. No, 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 no. It's all about it's all about listen, what 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 he can get from you guys. It's not about what he can give. Listen, to the dynasty. listen. We 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 all bring a different something to the table. We all bring a different personality to the picture, and when it all comes together, it makes magic. That's all that matters. Maybe, maybe so. But uh, so there you go. Uh, Mr. Maxwell Jr. Friedman, how you, you like that? Uh, there, I'll be posting that uh, later today. Uh, so uh, we see if we, we get a response from him. But let's talk about as well. Um, you know, you guys within the uh, the tag team championships um, in Chicago. You know, it was great. It was great, wasn't it? You know, and it was a great match um, against uh, the British Heart Foundation. Now, I, at the start of that match, I was cheering for them to win, of course. But after Brian Pillman Jr. knocking down area Blake for no reason or without even looking I thought you know what I want the dynasty to win let's get them to win that idiot <laughs> Brian Pumley Jr you know got taught a lesson and uh, he's still bragging <laughs> on social media that he, he deserves no apology for that well sorry matey you do <laughs> well I mean, there you go that idiot Brian, Pum Brian Pumley Jr listen I've been trying to tell people he's an idiot for a long time but I'm glad that somebody actually recognizes that. Oh, believe me, I do, and I and I've been telling him on Twitter for the past few weeks, and uh, you know, and he says uh, uh, apparently apologies um, does not work, and uh, apparently uh, it doesn't do any help to his health. <laughs> so uh, it's not very good, is it, really? But I mean, you know, you need to be taught a lesson. You can't just go around hitting women up off ladders for no reason at all. It's like. It's unprovoked, and you know, all she's trying to do was help the dynasty out. That's all. And she got, you know. Well, well listen, it was, it was a matter of time before we won the tag belts anyway. Whether whether Ari got involved, whether Matt, whether Brian hit her, that doesn't even matter. At the end of the day, we won the belts like we were always going to, and now everything's the way it's supposed to be, and Ari is just fine. Yeah, well, I'm glad she made a full recovery because I was quite worried after after seeing the the the, the fall she took because because I, I only had on the show two weeks before that happened. I think you know, great, she's dead, but I'm glad she made a yeah, a, a, especially a especially that she was wearing high heels when she did. Yes, exactly. I, I was like, my God. Um, but the actual quote uh, I'll give here is uh, is from Brian Pumley Jr. He, he quoted me saying, "I gave up apologizing a while ago, has done wonders to uh, to my health." Uh, whatever that meant to me, but you know, you still need to apologize. Uh, you know, you can't just go around hitting women for no reason off the ladders, and it, it would give the wrong impression to other other people who may see you do that. Yeah. But, hey, well, I I agree with you. <laughs> well, thank you. Again, the only thing we wouldn't agree on is is, is the MJF business. Uh, he's on my blacklist of not coming on this show because of, 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 of his attitude towards my good friend Chris Van Bleet not Chris Van Bleer as he calls him but Chris Van Bleet you know he's been on this show as well uh, Chris Van Bleet so he's on my blacklist unless he's in his attitude of course but you're more than welcome to come back on the show <laughs> 